okay? Just like we're on a talk show somehow. <laughs> we're on therapy. Therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Hi Bebes. Bebes! Hello, in honor of Pride Month, we want to talk about something that is quite special to us, which is our marriage. So this is our marriage story. Uh, many people would like to know about uh, how we got here, um, our process of getting married, so we'd like to share that with all of you today. Yes, yeah, so uh, what we got as our questions is basically about why we made a decision to be here mm -hmm. and also like where did we get married so we are going to talk about questions that um, people are making the most okay mm -hmm. yes so we'll start part one uh proposal so if we were to make you guess um who proposed to who can you guess who we'll give you five seconds Okay, but the one who actually proposed um, to the other person is actually me. So I wonder if it, to me. So I wonder if that's something that maybe they guessed. But basically, yes, I proposed. Um, so I was the one who took the leap and asked Sean if he wanted to get married to me. Um, and how did we go about it? Well, I mean, we talked about wanting to get married before, um, so we knew we wanted to do it. We just didn't know how. And what I did was okay when I thought that I was ready, or when we thought that I we were ready, I actually asked Sean. Um, and do you remember how the proposal went? Of course, I remember. Um, back then, I was sleeping. Uh huh. And suddenly, I was feeling not so comfortable on my finger. I was like, "What is happening?" So I just woke up, and Earl was. Um, trying to fit the ring on my finger because basically he was trying to see the size of my finger that is big or small that was the time you already got the ring for me right yes um, so I woke up and then he just proposed to me that okay he wants to get married I guess we'll rewind a little bit but Sean had a very specific ring he wanted. So when we were dating, Sean always wanted this ring. This is the Bulgari uh, B01? B01 ring. And he always wanted it. And he told me before like, oh, you know, when I get married one day, I want this to be my wedding ring. So I knew that ev way before, ever since uh, we started dating. So when I, when we, were, when we got ready, uh, we were actually planning to go to Paris, to Europe. Yeah. Um, and I was like, okay, this will be the perfect time to actually pop the question or ask him if he wants to get married. So I then bought the ring and I asked them like, oh, if I don't know, if the ring size is incorrect, is it possible to exchange? And they said, oh, actually, um, this ring is not adjustable because it's very specific. So if it does not fit, you have to exchange it within one week. And I remember it was one week before we left. So I had to just buy the ring and then fit it. And if it doesn't fit, I'm just gonna return it and then bring it to Paris and propose. But what happened was Sean doesn't wear rings at all. Not even like fashion rings. Yeah. Not nothing whatsoever. So I was like, how do I how am I able to, you know, put the, check the, size, check the of... size of the ring if it fits him? So when he was sleeping, or at least when I thought he was sleeping. I yeah. was sleeping. Yeah, but not deep enough. Well, I mean, you're irritating me. How can I sleep so deep? <laughs> so basically, like while he was sleeping, I was just trying to put on the ring, and then he woke up, and then I was like, okay, like might as well just ask the question. Then I asked him, and then he said yes. And what did you feel when I asked you? First of all, I woke up because it was quite the action you were making with my hand was quite big. Like you were like doing this. No, you're doing this. Huh? That's how I felt. Mm. So I couldn't not waking up. So mm. anyway, um, I was not expecting him to propose to me because I mean we had a kind of idea that wow we are significant one to each other. Yes, but um, since there's no marriage equality in Korea, and I wasn't thinking about it at least, yeah? And also wasn't thinking of living somewhere else out of Korea before as well. Yeah, I didn't expect his proposal, 
but um, somehow, even if I was sleeping, I was able to think correctly that I actually want to get married to him. So I said yes right away. I think mm. yeah, right. Yeah, you cried. That I don't recall. <laughs> no, you cried because you were like, "Oh, why are you asking me this question?" Blah blah blah. And then you should uh, explain to him like, "Oh, you know, I was actually planning to like do it in this." Like nice restaurant, you know, in Paris. Right, that you didn't. And he was really relieved that he that I didn't that that plan didn't work because mm-hmm. he doesn't want to I make like a big public romantic gesture. Mm-hmm. So eventually it worked out, uh, and then yeah, we basically got engaged. That was in 2018. 18. Yes, 2018. But as like as Sean said, we weren't really planning on like getting married. It's just like. Um, like a commitment to one yes. another, like yes, we want to be together, um, and if we can get married, we will get married. So that's like our promise to each other. So that was the proposal. For our engagement, we didn't really know if we were gonna get married, mm-hmm. but there came a moment where I moved to London because I was studying here for my masters, um, and I think that was in 2020. 19. 20. 2020. Yeah, 2020 when COVID happened. 2020, um, I moved to London and I thought like, oh, you know, there's actually a possibility for me to stay in London or in the UK for a long term after I finish my studies. So I told Sean like, oh, what if we get married here? Um, so we were planning to get married and everything, um, go to like a, a nice courthouse, etc. But then unfortunately it didn't work. During that time it was COVID. So it wasn't easy to bring people to the UK um, to get married. So that didn't happen. Yeah, because we have families that we want to invite and also like myself gotta be here and it didn't really work so well um, eventually so uh, we were stopping for a while mm. yeah so we gave up on the plan and we're just like okay maybe we can do it um, next time probably when things get better mm-hmm. which brings us to part three of our actual marriage so when did we get married um 2000 and 20 December 17 December 17 2021 21 Oh okay <laughs> December 17 2021 Yes yes So I don't know how this plan actually happened but basically I think covid was getting lighter lighter, lighter. yes so there were less restrictions yeah. and then Sean and I were planning to go on a trip um, to the US to spend the holidays there. Oh uh, yeah, that was a time that you were finishing your degree and you were like, oh, maybe we can go for a trip mm. for long before you start to work. Yeah. That's how we went. Yeah. yeah. And I haven't seen family for like two years because of COVID. So I talked to my parents and said, I told them that, oh, you know, Sean and I are planning to get married, we're planning to go to the US for a trip, etc., etc. And then they decided to come along and then Sean and I thought like, you know what? What if we get married in the US? And then I made some research and realized it was quite easy. Like you can just get married as a tourist. Um, and of course they will recognize your marriage um, if you live in a country that has marriage, marriage equality. equality. Um, while we didn't know that we were gonna move to another country, we thought like, I think if we have this document, whenever we move, it's it'll, going to be easy. Yeah, it'll work for us to bring someone legally mm. I am staying together as a dependent yeah so we said like, okay we'll do it and I told my parents like, oh we're gonna get married um, and then yeah they said yes and we went to uh, Las Vegas and why Las Vegas because <laughs> our family family is there yes I mean both mom and dad's family uh, everybody's there and we were actually like planning of going to basically the first time just gotta see you know um family itself but mm-hmm. and eventually it became our um kind of honeymoon as well at the same time as well as the wedding yeah, yeah. so yeah it happened like that yes and it happened really in quick time um we prepared it like in everything in less than two months i think yeah, we booked, we booked a photographer uh, who's based in Las Vegas. We got a nice, like, wedding chapel, um, and you might have seen the photos because we shared them a lot. 
Um, but yeah, we, we, we did that all quite quickly. Um, close family there, some friends also came. Uh, and that's how we celebrated our, our marriage basically in Las yeah. Vegas. Uh, unfortunately, I guess your family couldn't be there. Yeah, my right. family wasn't there. I mean, they, I'm not sure still because I haven't asked them that they were sad about not being there or not. But they were not able to be there because back then uh, they didn't know I am who I am. Mm -hmm. And also, I had a plan to get married as well. I cannot feel sorry to my parents and my brother as well, but um, as a result, um, they are happy for me now. And, and even if they wanted to, um, back then, because of the COVID and Korea was quite strict in, in terms of like COVID restrictions, I don't think they were able to come to the US because you gotta, um, how do you call that? A quarantine, quarantine for two weeks back then mm. yeah and everybody's working in my family so it couldn't be easy for them I think no. yeah so unfortunately that that was the case but hopefully one day you know we can celebrate like uh, a marriage ceremony again you want yeah why not with, with our family and friends I don't know. just a fun party maybe yeah we can have a party but i don't want to have a ceremony itself again because there's gonna be so much of work yeah that's true like preparing for that is so much headache as well so maybe just a party um, to celebrate you know our union with family yeah. and friends is something we want to do in the future yeah. um we actually uh, showed our wedding online yeah that was the time when we were actually that was the end of like when we were super active on TikTok, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but we did, but people knew about us, so we actually um, showed our shared our um, our wedding online. And I wonder if we can probably share that again on YouTube, that full ceremony. It's it's, oh, really? it's short, like usual Korean wedding, ten minutes. No, more like minutes. less than twenty minutes. Yeah. Yes, yes. So maybe it's something we're gonna share in the future um, if people actually want to see that. So let us know in the comments below if you want to see like our full yeah, wedding less, ceremony. Less than 20 minutes and it's quite short and it's, have, uh, it's taken by our phone. Yes, oh, yes. <laughs> so it's not the best quality. <laughs> Don't expect too much. But yeah, we, and I think we also just want to share this um, like keepsake we got uh, for our wedding so we made like our own <laughs> wedding album. We don't sell this, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, we actually have some stuff left. I wonder if you want to give it away. <laughs> okay. I don't think people will want this, uh, like yeah. this. So I actually made this um, with the wedding photos we got. We actually got really nice wedding photos um, during the wedding. So we took some during our ceremony in the chapel and we also went to the desert yeah. to take some nice photos. By the way, this is my real name. <laughs> Some people might think that, who's that? Oh, who did girl get married to? <laughs> you got another person, something like that, but I'm saying this is my actual Korean name and my English name, which is Shun, is for just for a convenience. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and we also wanted to show this very quickly. So we have like another photo album where we print our photos and this. So we actually, if you, there was a, a nice old photo booth in our wedding chapel. So we took like these um, on the actual okay. wedding photo booth. And you can see here. And then we also kept a copy of our vows. So Sean wrote his vows here. And my vows are in the corner, so. One more Ah, here. Uh, <laughs> why so, is this here? I don't know, I've mixed, I've put it wrong. So I also put my wedding vows here. So. We can always um, please don't capture. Yeah, we can always remember what we said to each other during our wedding. And yeah, actually, Sun had the better speech. It was really nice. Thank it, you. It made me, my family, everyone who was watching cry. So yeah, thank you, baby, for my such nice love. So. I didn't expect myself to be that good. No. <laughs> Thank you. Part four, marriage life. So shortly after we got married, we actually moved back to Korea. And oh my god, <laughs> like trying to remember the story makes me feel really sad. Oh my god. Yeah, but basically when we got to Korea, 
Um, so since the time we were coming back to Korea, we had issues with flight tickets. I mean, not because of us, but because of the COVID situation, mm. the flight get canceled and gets canceled. And also there were so many challenges with flying. When we, we eventually got to Korea. And as soon as we got to Korea, I actually got an email um, from my now employer, actually. Um, that, oh, would you be interested um, in moving to London and getting a job? So we, Sean and I were actually very happy. Um, but I think the difficult thing there was I had to fly out in two weeks because I had to get my visa. So we were like, okay, or maybe you should plan out and we can figure out how Sean is going to move there eventually. But the thing was, it was COVID time. And when we got to our testing center the next day, Sean actually was positive with COVID. <laughs> so they took him away for two weeks. Yeah. So while I was preparing to go away to the UK, Sean was in a quarantine center because Korea wasn't allowing us to be together in one place. Yeah. So I was in quarantine center for two weeks, I think. And right after I got out of the center, he needed to leave yeah. the next day. So we stayed for one day together and then he flew out to the UK and... Yeah, that's how our marriage life kind of started. Uh, so we had to like be in a long distance marriage um, for a bit. Um, but then eventually, fast forward to now, uh, as Sean has mentioned, because we actually got married, I was able to get Sean to be my defendant. I'm here in the UK, so we can live together as a married couple, and yeah. we're very happy that you know because of all of those steps. And while it was difficult to get here, um, it is worth it because we can kind of be ourselves, live our life here, um, and be an actual married couple. Yeah. So during this time, um, until I was able to be here, we were in a LDR basically, and this LDR. Um, made us to be more genuine to each other i think because that makes you to uh, devote to another um with your life for example if you want to keep your life with this relationship then you gotta manage your time and even if you're tired if you're in a special situation um, still you gotta uh, sacrifice for that to have this relationship better so for example we were talking to each other every, every day, day basically i woke up i mean for some people this is not early time and for me now it's not early time but i woke up at six every day to talk to him for like half an hour to one hour i think yeah yeah around one hour normally to talk to him because that's the night time of here mm -hmm. and after he wake up um like he, during his lunch time i think um that's gonna be evening in korea we talk to each other through Whoa. yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, for like half an hour to one hour again so we can actually catch up um each other of like daily life and yeah that's how it went it was challenging but definitely it's something that's worth fighting for you definitely um work hard to make it work so at least now we're happy, we're living together, and yeah, it was all worth it, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay, of course, maybe. Yeah. Don't doubt it. I know, of course. Uh, basically, yeah, that's like our short marriage story. Um, Sean and I are now married for a little over two years. Two years yeah. and six months? Two years and six months, yes. yeah. Yeah, so basically two and a half. Yeah, two and a half <laughs> years. Yeah, we've been together for almost two, 10 years. Uh, a little less than 10 years. Yeah, 2015 was when we first met. Yeah, but that was February. Oh, oh, my God. So, yeah, so nine years and four months. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so almost 10 years together. So, yeah, it's been a long time. Uh, but yeah, we're still enjoying each other's company, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> we're no, gonna no, 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 so we're just, we're gonna kill one. I just want to see your reaction. Yeah, of course. So um, we hope that you guys um, enjoyed that short story time about our marriage, um, and let us know what else you would like us to talk about in the comments below. Let us know because we are planning of having 
Q&A too soon or later. Yeah. So please make comments mm. about things you want to know about us. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, I also want to show them this. This is not related to our marriage, but basically this was um, a feature of, of my sister's wedding in a magazine in the Philippines. And look at who's the cover! Our cutie, baby Gael, uh, on the cover of Wedding Essentials. So cute, no? We miss him every day. Yeah. Mm. Gael. Mm -hmm.